A major KISS fan didn't let the band's recent concert cancellation at the Nutter Center get him down. New at 6, 2 News reporter Kelly King takes us on a tour of his Dayton home that's a tribute to the band. Mark Lang looks the part, sounds the part, and loves it loud. I always wanted to be a drummer. Actually, I wanted to be the drummer in the Jackson 5. But KISS was more his beat. Since he was young, he's been drumming inspiration from his favorite band. My brother brought home the KISS album, and uh, I loved the music. He was seven then, now over 50, but still. KISS kid at heart, yeah. Dressed to kill, he goes to most KISS concerts in full makeup. I was actually invited to come up in the second row because I had I was in full costume, so that was pretty cool. For Mark, fandom is not just from head to toe. The shoes are a little bit uncomfortable. It's also from floor to ceiling. If it's not KISS, it doesn't go in this room. Mark has been rocking out since 1977 as a KISS fan. His collection has grown over the years, and it all started with this KISS lunchbox. Anything new came out, I bought. Thousands of dollars of KISS memorabilia, a mini KISS museum showcasing much of what Mark has collected. Kissopoly. Kiss fragrance they never use. Kiss trivial. You can probably fill up another room. Even his dog Millie is fangirling. I'm here. And Mark celebrates the band year round. Christmas only comes once a year. Kissmas is all year around. Each lights represent each color of the band member when they made their solo album. Purple for Paul. Red for Gene, green for Peter, blue for Ace. His collection accumulating, as well as the worth. The mega KISS fan waiting for the band's final concert. They say this is the end of the road tour. As he puts on his own. In Dayton, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.